Today we'll be looking at the ANOVA Precision Vacuum Sealer Pro. Hello and welcome to First Look, I'm Young John. Now we're going to be looking at the ANOVA Precision Vacuum Sealer Pro. This model is all-in-one, everything you need. Let's start with an unboxing. This is the front of the box here with the image and with the model on the bottom left-hand corner. And this is the back, gives you some more pictures and some of the specs on the left side here. So here are the two pull tabs. Uh, uh, uh. Here's the instruction manual. I'm just gonna upside down this. I'm gonna put my hand on top and uh, very, very slowly lift the box upwards. And everything should be on the bottom here. Empty box. We have a piece of plastic tubing. And we have the unit wrapped in plastic. Plastic off. And that's everything you get in the box. You have your main unit, some plastic tubing, and your instruction manual. So here's the main unit. Let's open up the lid and inside is the roll of plastic. And this roll is 11 inches wide and 19.6 feet long. Now what I love about this unit is that everything is built in. Uh, it's got this whole area where you can fit this roll of plastic. And here is, uh, let me take out the tape. Pull away the cardboard bits. So everything is built in, it's all in one. You don't need scissors, the slicer will take care of that. This is the part that fuses the plastic and this is the area where it takes out all of the air. And this is the locking mechanism. You lift, and once it's down, you close it tight. Here's the top of the unit. From left to right, this is vacuum and seal. Selection for moist products, for dry products. Sealing only, the pulse vacuum which only takes out the air, and the external pulse vacuum for which you connect this uh, plastic attachment. And I guess this is if you have a plastic bag that uses this sort of attachment here. Let's look underneath. There should be, aha, uh -huh, a compartment where you have the cord embedded. Let's pull out the cord, which should be about 39 inches of cordage. Has a little uh, plastic protector here. Let's pull that away. Down here is a little groove where you can pull in the cord. I'm excited to see how this works. I'm gonna plug this right into an outlet. And we should see some lights, yes, lit up, yay. Let's use this unit now. You open it by lifting this lid, boof. You have a place to put your roll of plastic, which other units do not. Uh, let's lift up this cutting tool and place this plastic underneath. So I'm gonna measure out this much plastic from here to here, okay? I think this is a good start. I'll push down the cutter and just slide it across. Plastic should come right out. Great. So here's the piece of plastic that we just sliced away. And uh, as you can see, it's open on both ends. So we're gonna have to make this into a bag by sealing, let's say this part here. And you do that by placing it across this brown bit. Uh, you line it up like that. And we can close this and lock it. And you see a blue light come up? We're going to seal it by pressing the seal button here. That'll light blue. We just have to wait until that blue light goes away. So it's fusing the plastic, making it into a baggie. And this is silent. I don't hear anything. Very, very quiet. Okay, blue light is gone, so it sealed it. I'm going to open it again. And voila. There we go. This thing does a double seal, making it super strong. So the first thing I'm gonna seal are some marshmallows. So I'm gonna stick some into this plastic package here because 
too much air and it starts to go all like hard and no good anymore. So let's grab this and stick some inside. So get some big marshmallows like this, a handful of little marshmallows like this, some more and some more. I think this is enough. Let's lift this up. This time we want to seal this end, but we also want to take out the air. So this is where the air like it gets taken out. So once the air gets taken out, it gets fused by this brown part. So you have to make sure that the edge goes inside that oval area there. Maybe this packet was a little too small. Let's take out a marshmallow here. <laughs> okay, there we go. So now the plastic is inside that oval edge. It will seal in the brown part. Very good. And let's close this. Uh, lock it in place. And we'll select dry because it's dry. We will vacuum and seal automatically. And go. Woo! It just kind of shrinks everything up. And you can lift this when that light turns off. Light is off. And voila. It is now vacuum sealed. But there's a slight problem with this. It pulled out so much air that it scrunched up all of my marshmallows. That's not exactly what we wanted. So we're gonna have to try another method. So this time I wanna package some blueberries. But as you saw with the marshmallows, it's probably not a good idea to automatically let it control the amount of air taken out. So I've cut another piece of plastic like this. I've uh, fused one end so that only the other end is open. So this is what I want to package, but I don't want to smush it. So what we'll do is open the lid, place the plastic so that the edge is inside that vacuum chamber. We'll close this. Very good, lock it in place. But instead of pressing this vacuum and seal, we're gonna control the amount of air taken out by pushing pulse vacuum. So let's do this manually. I'll hold this down. And it takes out only as much air as, as you press this button. So just enough. so the blueberries don't get smushed. And when you think it's enough, you seal it. The light is finished, so we can remove thing. And there we go. We have a perfect seal and the blueberries are not smushed. Let's do one more, and this time I'm gonna do nuts. Now, we're this is gonna be a little bit different because I wanna make travel packets. Now, I can't finish this whole bag by myself in one go, but if I make a smaller packet size, then I can. So, I'm gonna measure out this much. Let's cut that like this. Let's close up one end like that. Let's seal this. Great. So this end is sealed on one end. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to seal across the middle because I think a good travel pack size would be maybe like this size. So I'm gonna seal across the middle there. And seal. Done. And now we have kind of the makings of two packages. Let's put some nuts into this plastic pack. So you have one packet here, one packet there, and I wanna seal it to make two packs. You can get really creative with this kind of thing. It's really kind of fun. So let's make sure that the edges are in the vacuum chamber. Good, that's good I think. Let's close this. I hope this works and lock it. 
we're gonna do dry. Moist is for marinades, but it's not for that. And let's vacuum and seal automatically. The seal is finished. And on opening it, we have, ta-da, two packs of travel-sized snacks. For this one, I'm going to grab a pair of scissors and cut right along the double seam there. That's the great thing about the double seam. So hopefully, I don't mess this up. So now I have two packs of travel size nuts. I'm going to cut the edge of the plastic. Now you can go on a trip and see this edge. I can just pull it apart. I have pulled this away and have access now to my nuts. Just to note, you can't use regular plastic bags because the air won't come out of it. You need these kinds of bags, which are made specially for this machine. Uh, if you run out of plastic, you can always buy extras. You can buy from Anova, you can buy from somewhere else. But I have noticed something. So you see that groove over there on one side of the bag, and you see grooves on the other side of the bag. So there are grooves on both sides of the bag. On cheaper bags on Amazon, there are only grooves on one side of the plastic and not on the other one. So it might not take air out of both sides of the plastic, only from one side. So when you're buying this plastic, just be aware of that. If you decide to reuse the plastic, then just be aware of food safety concerns. Like if you used it to hold marshmallows or blueberries, uh, or greens, you can probably clean it out and reuse it. But if you used it for raw meat or raw fish, which harbors bacteria, then I'd be more careful about it. So what do I think of this machine? This is super useful, really great for taking out oxygen and preserving the food for longer. And the great thing about this machine in particular, as I've said before, it's all in one. There's a place for the plastic roll, there's a cutter, there's the heat unit, there's the vacuum itself, and it even has a cubby hole for the cord. And yes, it's a little bit bigger than handheld units, but it's got everything built in, is beautiful to look at, and sits right on the kitchen tabletop. Thank you so much for watching this video on the Anova Precision Vacuum Sealer Pro. Uh, if you want to check out prices, we'll leave Amazon affiliate links down below in the notes. And if you haven't yet, please take a moment now to subscribe to the First Look, Look With Two Zeros YouTube channel. We'll see you all again next time.